hello guys this is shivang here and i warmly welcome you all if you guys remember in the last lecture i've explained the structure of heart all these four chambers blood vessels valves etc everything now today i'm going to make you understand the function of heart means the double circulation process when this heart expands the deoxygenated blood from all the different parts and organs of the body comes to the right atrium through inferior vena cava and superior vena cava then this deoxygenated blood is passed to the right ventricle through tricuspid valves okay first of all let me make you clear with the mechanism of this valves when this heart expands this tricuspid valve open ups simultaneously this pulmonary valve closes and when this heart contracts this tricuspid valve closes and simultaneously the pulmonary valve open ups okay when the heart expands the deoxygenated blood comes to the right atrium through inferior and superior vena cava and then it is passed to the right ventricle through tricuspid valves and when then this heart contracts this tricuspid valve closes and the pulmonary valve open ups and the deoxygenated blood is passed to the lungs through this pulmonary artery in the lungs this deoxygenated blood releases carbon dioxide into the alveoli and simultaneously absorbs oxygen to get oxygenated and when again the heart expands the oxygenated blood from the lungs comes to the left atrium of the heart through pulmonary vein and this oxygenated blood is passed to the left ventricle through bicuspid valve or a mitral valve as it is labeled here so here also when the heart expands the bicuspid or mitral valve open ups and the aortic valve closes and when the heart contracts this aortic valve open ups and mitral valve closes similarly similar as uh, we have seen in the left uh, chambers or oh, sorry right chambers so when the oxygenated blood from the lungs comes to the left atrium and passes to the left ventricle through bicuspid valve or mitral valve and when then this heart contracts second time this uh, oxygenated blood through this aortic valve passes to the different parts and organs of the body through aorta aorta is the largest artery of the body it's another it's another name is truncus arteriosus so that's all about double circulation process this process is called uh, double circulation because the blood from the parts of the body comes to the heart twice first in the right chambers then in the left chambers that's why it is called double circulation it is circulated twice in the heart so that's all about double circulation process see you guys in the next video have a nice day